This is the way the chute usually looks after deployment when you return to the pits. The first step is to straighten the shroud lines, canopy, and bridle cord for folding and packing. Walk from the rear of the vehicle, making sure the shroud lines are flat inside the canvas sleeve. Continue to walk away from the vehicle, keeping the lines flat, straight, and off the ground. When you get to the major line wrap, stop. Grab the top shroud line on the chute side of the line wrap and drop the other three. It doesn't matter which side is on top. Keeping the top line flat, continue to walk away from the vehicle until you get to the lateral band, which is the tape around the bottom edge of the canopy. Grab the lateral band with both hands on both sides of the canopy shroud line attachment point. Continue walking away from the vehicle while following the lateral bands with your hands. Fluff and untwist the canopy as you proceed. You will reach each corner at the same time where the canopy is tight and you cannot go any further from the vehicle. The canopy is now straight and ready to pack. Spread the canopy and make sure that the bridle cord, deployment bag, and pilot chute, if used, exits from the top center of the canopy and is not tangled with other cords or the canopy. Transfer the corner held with the right hand to the left hand holding both corners with the fingers of the left hand as shown. Reach down and grab the remaining corner. Fold it up and hold with another finger of the left hand. Grab the lowest point of the canopy directly beneath your left hand, making sure all the material is inside the canopy. Stretch both hands in front of you so that the canopy is pie-shaped. Bring both hands together, making a fold in the canopy. Fold again while you straighten and tuck the material to further reduce the width of the canopy. Now, make sure the bridle cord is not twisted and put it in the deployment bag, also called a D-bag, first. Next, tuck the top of the folded canopy into the lower corner of the D-bag. Holding the D-bag against your stomach, grab another length of the folded chute and stuff into the opposite corner. In the same manner, continue to S-fold the canopy into the D-bag. When you reach the shroud line attachment point, the center line will be loose. Simply pull it snug with the other lines and continue S-folding the lines on top of the canopy. You do not have to be perfect here. Just make sure the lines will come out of the D-bag first and are not tangled with the canopy. Continue to S-fold the canvas sleeve up to the length you want to remain out of the bag that attaches to the vehicle. Set the D-bag on the rear of the vehicle or flat surface with the flap closest to you. Stuff all exposed material straight down to make sure that all of the lines and canopy are stowed in the D-bag. Next, fold the flap on the D-bag over the lines and tuck it into the other side of the bag. The D-bag is now packed and ready for the chute container. Before putting the D-bag into the chute container, make sure the pull-up cord is through the closing loop. Inspect the closing loop to make sure it is not stiff, frayed, or broken, or the chute may not deploy properly, if at all. Stroud Safety has replacement cords and loop kits available. Just give us a call. Open the flaps of the chute container with the pull-up cord and closing loop opposite of you. At this time, inspect the chute container for any defects. The Launcher D-Bag, which does not have a pilot chute, can be inserted into the chute container two different ways. It can be inserted sideways with the top of the D-bag facing the loop side of the container, or you can load it with the top of the D-bag face down in the chute container against the disc. With either method, make sure your length of canvas sleeve that attaches to the vehicle remains outside of the container. Never place the flap end of the D-bag against the aluminum disc at the bottom of the chute container. It will damage your launcher system. You are now ready to close the chute container. Begin by inserting the pull-up cord through the grommet on the square flap closest to you. Pull the flap closed, making sure the closing loop is exposed through the grommet. The tapered flaps come next. 
Holding the closing loop in place with your thumb or finger, pass the pull-up cord through the grommet of the triangle flap closest to the rip cord cable. Then, pass the pull-up cord through the grommet of the flap opposite your rip cord cable last. This will help prevent hard or no pulls. Pull tight on the pull-up cord exposing the closing loop and insert the rip cord cable through the closing loop. The cable should extend past the closing loop approximately one inch. Also, make sure the end of the cable is deburred and smooth. Remove the pull-up cord. Pass the outside end under the cable and pull the cord slowly but firmly to remove the cord. Do not pull fast. It could burn the closing loop and damage it prematurely. If for some reason you lose your pull-up cord, a shoelace will work. Before placing a pilot chute D bag in the chute container, note that it has the bridle cord exiting the top of the bag which attaches to the pilot chute. Gently pull on the bridle cord until it will not come out of the D bag any further. Now you can untwist it and increase its length. Place the packed D bag sideways in the chute container with the bridle cord against the flap that has the pull up cord and closing loop. Gently loop the pilot chute bridle cord on top of the D-bag and place the pilot chute spring on the top of the bridle cord. Inspect the pilot chute flaps for damage, then gently fold them in a circular motion around the spring. Compress the spring straight down and centered on the D-bag. Proceed to close the chute container the same way as before, beginning with the square flap opposite the pull cord. Make sure the triangular flap opposite the rip cord is the last flap closed. After the chute is packed, whether using a launcher or pilot chute D-bag, dress the chute container. Make sure all corners are tucked and the container is square for optimal performance. Remember to remove the pull-up cord before making a run. To assure long life and reliable performance of your Stroud Safety Drag Chute, be sure to unpack it after every weekend event. Thank you again for your purchase of the Stroud Drag Chute system. Please call us if you have any questions regarding the operation and performance of your chute. Also, be sure to visit our website for the latest products and equipment from Stroud Safety.